So the story problem says that the Humane Society had dogs and cats coming in and out of a door in one day. A total of 200 times the door was used. One fifth of those were done by cats. Eight tenths of those were uh, done by dogs. So we're wanting to find out quantities. The first question asks, how many times did the cats use the door? So I have one fifth of and whenever we say the word of, it means multiplication, one-fifth of 200. Then to multiply uh, with a fraction, fractions are snobs and only like to work with other fractions, so we have to turn this whole number into a fraction, and all we have to do for that is put it over 100. You could then either multiply straight across or cross-cancel. For this, I think just multiplying straight across is going to be easiest. It's going to be 200 over 5. So when I divide 5 into 200, I get 40. So the, dog, the cats used the dog door or the animal door 40 times. Then it asks, well, how many times did the dogs do it? we got multiple strategies for this. One is we could take 8 tenths and multiply it by 200. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could cross cancel or multiply straight across. You could also, you might have looked at 8 tenths and realized that's a little bit bigger. I can shrink that down. 8 and 10 both reduce by 2, which turns that into 4 fifths. So now I could have 4 fifths times 200 over 1, and then again, either multiply straight across or cross cancel. 5 is and 1, 5 out of 20 um, would be 40. So 44 times is 160. The other thing is, you knew that the cats used the door 40 times, and the door was used a total of 200 times. So you could have taken the 200 and subtracted the 40 from it to also get the 160. I recommend doing multiple ways just to verify that your process was correct. So maybe you might have um, messed up on multiplying or dividing or something like that. So by using a different strategy, you can verify that your, your solution was reasonable. So by doing the process, process and saying, oh, I got 160, I wonder if that's right. Oh, well, let me think of it another way. 200 minus 40 is also 160. So yes, my process was correct. So question three says, at the adoption event, three-eighths of the animals adopted were birds, three-sixteenths were dogs, how many were cats? So to figure that out, we first have to find out, well, how much of the total was adopted from the dogs and the birds? When we add fractions, we have to have the same denominator so that our parts are the same size. Because in this case, it takes eight pieces to make a whole, versus 16 pieces to make a whole. So these pieces are gonna be bigger than these pieces. We can't fit them in their little container, their little um, partition within the whole if they're not the same size. So we have to figure out what's the lowest common multiple. The first number that eight times a number creates that 16 times a number can also create. Hence, it can't ever be smaller than the largest denominator because 16 times a number isn't going to be smaller than 16. But 8 times a number is 16, so that's our value. We need to turn 8 into 16, and we do that by doubling it. But if we double the bottom, we also have to double the top to keep our proportions the same. So now I have 6 eighths, oh, no, 6 sixteenths plus three sixteenths, which means we have nine sixteenths. All right, well, if we have nine out of 16 pieces taken up by the dogs and birds, how much is left over for the cats? Well, if I have one whole and I need to 100% and I take away nine sixteenths, I need to turn this one whole into a fraction. And because it needs to have the same number of pieces as this fraction, it means I have 16 sixteenths. So I take the one whole, I divide it into the necessary parts it needs, and there we have there. And so then I can take away nine of those 16 pieces, which leaves me with seven sixteenths. So seven sixteenths of the animals adopted were cats. 
And question four also pertains to this same idea. It asks, why does the denominator need to be the same? It's because the pieces, the parts, have to be the same size. If you had a simple diagram, so if I had one half even, okay? Let me clear up some space. If I had one half and I'm supposed to add one half, and I'm supposed to add This pieces are not the same. And if I took one of these pieces and fit it into this open space, it's not going to take up nearly enough space. So because the parts aren't the same, we can't really get an, a sense of how much we have. So we need to make sure that the denominators are, sa are the same so that each of our, the pieces can fit into the opening available. So I look for the lowest common multiple. So eight, I can't get smaller than eight, but two can turn into an eight by multiplying by four. So now I have four eighths plus three eighths. And all that lets me do is take this and slice it into four times as many pieces. So now I have one, two, three, four, four pieces out of the eight total. So that if I took these three and filled them into those empty spaces, I would then have my seven eighths. So it just really comes down to the parts, the pieces have to be the same size.